Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about some high yield concepts in myofascial release technique. Some of the key things we want to talk about are the diaphragm release techniques. And keep in mind there's four diaphragms in the human body. The tentorium cerebelli, the thoracic inlet, abdominal diaphragm, pelvic diaphragm. And one of the key techniques uh, that you should be aware of is the thoracic inlet release, whose purpose is to basically relax soft tissue restrictions and enhance lymphatic drainage from the head and the neck. So here the patient is usually lying supine with arms abducted to 90 degrees. Physician is seated at the side of the patient. And with one hand, place your fingers in the patient's supraclavicular fossa and apply attraction towards the patient's wrist. With the other hand, move the patient's wrist superiorly until a tension develops in the supraclavicular fossa and hold this until some relaxation is noted. Another technique we want to talk about is the thoraco-abdominal diaphragm release whose purpose is to increase the pressure gradients within the thoracic and abdominal cavities, thereby increasing the lymphatic return. There are several different types of thoraco-abdominal releases techniques. And the procedure here is going to be the patient is usually seated and the physician is standing behind the patient, um, placing your hands around the thoracic cage under the patient's arm and introducing uh, fingers underneath the costal margin. And then gently rotating the thoracic tissues um, is key to this technique. For the treatment phase, with your fingers still underneath the costal margin, hold the thoracic tissues in the direction with which it moves more freely and allow the fascia to unwind until it settles into a rhythmic vertical motion. So again, board review questions that talk about uh, thoracic and abdominal cavities. Um, Here a thoracoabdominal diaphragm release is going to be useful. Another um, topic we would like to discuss today in myofascial release techniques involves the um, types of myofascial release techniques. So The um, myofascial release is a form of manual medicine um, that involves uh, stretching of the fascia and releasing muscles um, and reducing counter uh, restrictions. Counter strain and facilitated positional release, um, unwinding, balanced ligamentous techniques, indirect release techniques, cranial osteopathy are all forms of myofascial release. Now myofascial can be direct or indirect it can be active or passive and the typical release treatment technique involves uh, the physician uh, palpating the restriction and once the restriction is felt um, in a direct treatment the physician will move the myofascial tissues toward a restrictive barrier and again um, this is accomplished mainly by directly applying attraction along the long axis of the muscle And in the indirect technique, the physician will move the myofascial away from the restrictive barrier. And again, this is accomplished by applying a compression. So on the board exams, if you hear traction, um, it's mainly a direct technique. If you hear compression for myofascial release, that's an indirect form of a um, myofascial release. Then the physician fine tunes the forces. Twisting of the myofascial structures or applying a transverse force perpendicular to the long axis of the muscle um, is recommended and the physician has correctly addressed the myofascial structures um, by palpating that area and making sure that there's no additional restrictions. After the physician has completed this, uh, the patient is asked to use enhancers to induce a release. Now enhancers uh, include active motion by the patient. Um, it can be something like an eye movement, respiration, etc. And again, these movements are added in a direct or an indirect lesion. And as a physician, you await for the release to occur. So the goals are mainly to improve lymphatic flow and the indications are um, patients um, mainly you know, who are suffering from any sort of an illness or a tender point or a trigger point. The key thing you want to keep in mind is that since uh, it's a form of manual medicine that accompanies several types of OMT applications, there's no specific uh, list of contraindications just for myofascial release. Another topic we'd like to cover today is the fascial patterns, the common compensatory patterns. 
And here for the boards, you want to remember um, what Zinc called the common compensatory pattern, and that is mainly uh, the fact that you know rotatory testing of these segments, such as the occipital atlantal junction, the cervical thoracic junction, the thoracocolumnar junction, and the lumbosacral junction, um, in approximately eighty percent of healthy individuals. Um, shows that OA is rotated left and the cervical thoracic is rotated right and the um, the th thoracolumbar is rotated to the left and the lumbosacral is rotated to the right so that's a key fact that you want to understand for the common compensatory pattern okay uh, the boards can ask you a question with uh, simply asking you uh, the side with which uh, rotation occurs uh, with the common compensatory patterns, whether it's occipital atlantial, uh, cervical thoracic, thoracolumbar, or lumbosacral. Generally, if you tend to remember one, you can um, understand the other one is going to be the other one. So, for here, you can remember um, the left sided O and T. So, O is occipital and T is thoracocolumnar. So, that's the key thing occipital and thorac thoracocolumnar. However, this order is reversed in the uncommon compensatory pattern, um, and understand that you know the complete um, pattern is reversed here. Now, the key thing you want to make in mind is that uh, with indirect myofascial techniques, you're engaging the anatomical barrier. Okay, um, and also one of the key indications for treating myofascial release um, and utilizing it is peripheral edema. So if a patient on the boards presents with peripheral edema, myofascial release technique should be uh, one of the things you're thinking about. Thank you for listening to the Comlex Instant Review podcast. This is um, a review of the myofascial release techniques. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional lectures and click on the osteopathic manipulative medicine portion to get um, additional cases, podcasts, and video lectures for OMM. Good luck in your preparation for the boards.